We're with Panther head coach Chris Wally following today's 2-1 loss to Michigan State. Coach, your goalkeeper makes 14 saves. You come up uh, down one, down one nothing, tie it up, and end up falling. Your thoughts on the game? Well, it was disappointing the way the game ended today. I think we weren't, you know, our best in the first half, but Josh kept us in the game. And the second half, we came out and played a lot better. We gave up a silly goal early in the second half, but apart from that, I thought we were in the ascendancy in the second half. Played well, passed the ball well, scored a good goal, and thought we were the only team that was going to go on to win the game. But, you know, fate is sometimes cruel, and we had an unfortunate break towards the end. Got outshot by uh, uh, quite a difference in the first half, yet Josh makes 10 saves in the first half. Talk a little bit about his play and how it was you know, good to get to that halftime at 0-0. Yeah, no, I think Josh has come in and he's gone 2-2 two two in his four games that he's played and he's done really well so far. As a freshman to come in and play so well at a, you know, an eight, uh, a big school, you know, in a big 10 here at Michigan State and you know, make the saves he made. He made a couple of very good saves that kept us in the game. I, I'm you know, disappointed for him. That, you know, the game went the way it did because you know he deserved to get something out of today's game the way he played in the first half. 0-0 yeah. at zero half, Michigan State scores uh, the, the first goal right away in the second half, but then your team you know down one nothing come, uh, comes back and Robert gets that the goal. Talk a little bit about Robert's goal and then just a little bit how your team was resilient in that second half to get the score. Yeah, it was disappointing because we conceded on a set piece and I think we've been pretty good on them this year and we had the people in the right positions, we just didn't make a play. But then Robert comes in and he was lively off the bench. He gave us, you know, some pace in behind. He took his goal really well. And it's great that he scored five goals, you know, already this season. That was good. And he started to be dangerous for us. And I thought in the second half, we really passed it well. We showed great character. And we kept going all the way to the end. And, you know, I think we, we were just a bit unfortunate the way it all came, pan, panned out. Because we're definitely the better team in the first half, uh, in the second half. In the first half, they, you know, they probably deserve to be up. So maybe it's just the way it goes. The final s score of the game, uh, Michigan State scored. Uh, some people in the press box saw offside, some people kind of saw handball, uh, no whistle, and uh, the, the, the Spartan player was able to walk the goal in. You, know, you want to share your opinion on that a little bit? Yeah, the, the kid's knocked the ball over the top, and uh, to be honest, the boy looks pretty much well five or ten yards offside, and then he's challenged with Josh, who's done a nice job to come off his line, and to everybody in the stands there, coaching staff included, it looks like he's used his hand. The referee has said he used his hand, but he said it wasn't intentional. You know, the referee's paid to make decisions. I'm not paid to make those decisions. I'll let him stick with that one. It's just very, you know, it's just a shame, isn't it, that the guys go down that way. But it's one of those things. Sometimes we'll get good breaks in the game, and sometimes we get bad breaks. And, you know, I'm not here. I'm not going to blame the referee. If we'd have played as well as we could have played the whole 90 minutes, we'd have won the game anyway. But we didn't. Now we've got to bounce back. I made quite a few uh, tweaks to the lineup today. Was that just because of the situation with the, the midweek game and the conference uh, game this weekend, or was uh, was there more purpose behind that? No, I think our bread and butter has to be conference, you know, and we want to make sure we're at the top of the conference. We're doing pretty well in conference right now. Uh, I think some of our guys, you know, Keegan and Cerveja didn't play a lot today, and they've played a lot of minutes, and physically I think they were worn down, and we tweaked the lineup a little bit and tried to give guys some rest. And also some of our guys who haven't been playing a lot probably do deserve some chances. And to be totally honest, I thought in the second half, um, when we brought people off the bench, most of them did pretty well today, which is great. You know, showing that the squad's getting better. And you know, sometimes you need to, to freshen things up if you're going to be successful because it is a long, hard season. Although it's not the longest season in terms of duration, we play a lot of games in that period of time. And you know, it was good that some of the guys came off the bench and did a nice job today. Thanks for your time today, Coach. Thank you.